Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel A Monk in Cloud. As many of you have requested in the comment section to build projects on whatever I had recommended in my previous cloud related videos, I have come up with one such project, right? So the project name is serverless web application on AWS. So what this project is, everything I'm going to share in this particular video. A detail, a series of videos will be out on the same playlist. I'll create a separate playlist with the name serverless web application on AWS. You can check all the details regarding this project in that particular playlist, right? S starting from the scratch, we are going to create this project. So wait till the end. And this is just an introduction on how, what this project is and how this project is going to be, right? So this project, uh, you will build a serverless web application using AWS Lambda, DynamoDB and S3, right? So the application will allow users to create, read, update and delete basically curd items on your DynamoDB table. I don't know how much we are going to cover this application curd part, but I'm sure like we are going to integrate DynamoDB along with Lambda on our website, right? Or web application. So this is the entire project where we have users and we have set of AWS services lying around, right? So what we are going to do is we will create a static website and, and all the things, all the files related to static sites will be kept inside this S3 bucket so for example, HTML files, JS, JavaScript and styles, uh, CSS files, everything will be kept under S3 bucket. And we are going to fetch this index.html or the documents that are present in S3 bucket using the cloud front. And this cloud front will have a custom domain which will be in route 53 we will create a separate record for route 53 and we'll set up the um, acm or the certificate for the website so that we'll uh, use the secured site right so whenever a user uh, requests that particular site so you you will be using the uh, route 53 domain along with the certificate installed on that right so when whenever the user requests that site uh, a view count on that particular site will be increased. We are going to use a Lambda function and the DynamoDB uh, for that, right? So this entire application we are building with, without using any servers or an EC2 instance or a an virtual machine. So we call this as serverless, right? So to build this project, you need to create a DynamoDB table first and uh, you need to store some items there. And later on, you need to build a Lambda function to handle the curd operation on the DynamoDB table, you need to store your you know, web application static files like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript on your S3 bucket, and then create a CloudFront distribution to serve the S3 hosted static files with low latency, right? I'm sure at the end of this project, you are going to have a lot of working knowledge on serverless web application hosted on AWS, right? So you will have hands-on experience building a serverless application using AWS Lambda, DynamoDB, S3, and CloudFront. Additionally, you will have experience working with AWS services and integrating them to build a complete solution which is very much required in today's generation many of them are concentrating on getting the certification but the thing is you will know hundreds of services but if you do not know how to integrate both of them together then it would be a waste of knowing Right. So what I'm suggesting, learn and build projects. So this is one example that we are going to build. Right. So I don't know how many videos it will require. As I told, every week there will be two videos uploaded on the channel. So 
I will cover this entire project completely and then pick up another project, right? So you can follow all our tutorials here at amonkincloud.com on YouTube. You can find all the videos that we have created previously, right? So you can also follow us on blog. Uh, we have a separate site called amonkincloud.com where if you do not want to view this entire tutorial you can read them right so this is my personal blog if you're interested go and check that out and we are also on instagram please don't forget to follow us because that motivates a lot to create videos like this if you have any queries or doubts you can always write to us at amankincloud at gmail.com right so this is what the entire project is and we are getting you know all the things sorted for you so that you will be completing this serverless web application on AWS project without any hassle, right? So this is how the project looks. If you see here, we, we have a demo project, a simple one, not so complicated. So here, if you see, we have name and here, if you enter a name, that name will appear here and you will see a view count here, right? So the views currently is 66. If I hit refresh, and that view count will change to 67, right? If you see here, the six, uh, it changed to 67. Now, if I hit refresh again, it changed to 68, right? So here, if you see, we have a fully set up web application, which is completely secure. If you see here, connection is secure and it is having a route 53 domain which is greeting.amankincloud.tk so this entire project we are going to build a same thing do not worry if you do not know anything we are going to cover completely starting from the scratch everything will be given out to you right so if you want to look into this project uh, we have a separate repo created on my github account you can definitely come here and check this out right so if you want to use the same thing i don't have any issues uh, on forking this project and using in your repository right so that's all i had uh, for this video it is just an announcement video what we are building in this project so if you're liking the con content that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends thank you and i will see you in the next one where we'll create the s3 setup and the cloud front distribution all right see you in the next one